after studying this module you shall be able to understand the concept of packaging learn the various functions of packaging know the significance of good packaging understand the concept of labeling and learn the concept and significance of branding let us understand the concept of term packaging first the word product can be traced back to the word produce as we understood in earlier modules which had been derived from the latin word produce which means in english to lead or bring forth it dates back to year 1575 where product referred to as anything produced and this changed to thing or things produced in 1695 onwards a product has to be packaged in order to sell the history of packaging dates back to the year 1035 when a persian traveler visiting markets in cairo noted that vegetables spices and hardware were wrapped in paper for the customers after they were sold with the passage of time attempts were made to use the natural materials available such as baskets of reeds wooden boxes pottery vases woven bags etc however the use of cardboards paper boards cartons was first done in the 19th century the michigan state university was the first to offer a degree course in packaging engineering since then there has been no looking back the packaging industry boomed as more than the content it is the packaging which attracts the attention of the buyer first the traditional meaning of packaging is to wrap a product philip kotler defines packaging as all the activities of designing and producing the container for a product it serves to contain identify describe protect display promote and otherwise make the product marketable and keep it clean it is the science art and technology of wrapping material around the product to enclose or protect products to identify describe display distribute store promote sell use and to keep the product clean packaging also called the process of design evaluation and production of packages in short packaging can be described as a coordinated system of preparing goods for transport warehousing logistics sale and end use packaging contains protects preserves transports informs and sells in many countries it is fully integrated into government business institutional industrial and personal use let us learn about different levels of packaging packaging is usually done at three basic levels these levels however may be more or less as per the requirements of the product there are different levels of packaging that a consumer may be exposed to usually the customer is handling the product in its primary packaging this is the packaging that the product is seen in as it sits on the store shelf for example the primary packaging is the packaging that is exposed to the consumer and so will have the attributes conveying important information to the consumer however the overall packaging can also be subdivided 
into other levels of packaging. Packaging has three levels namely primary level, secondary level and shipping packaging. These have been explained in brief. Number one, primary package. The package which has enclosed the actual commodity is called primary package. Such package remains attached with the actual commodity until the consumers have completely exhausted or used the product. Toothpaste tube, bottles of medicines, cigarette packets, matchbox etc are examples of primary package. 2. Secondary package. The layer of cover added to the primary package for its protection is called as secondary package. After bringing the product home or being ready to use the product, the secondary package is taken off or thrown away. The cardboard box in which the tube of toothpaste is packed, the cover of soap etc. are the examples of secondary package. The consumers do not keep the secondary package for long. 3. Shipping package. Shipping package is used to facilitate identification, transportation, handling and storing the products. Shipping package is very important and necessary for the products of whose nature is to keep stored for long time to carry far away and need to be loaded and unloaded several times. Under shipping package, there may be primary and secondary packaging. Wooden boxes, cartons, cardboard boxes, plastic boxes, etc. are the examples of shipping package. We shall now learn about different functions of packaging. A package should preserve the contents in factory fresh condition during the period of storage and transportation. Following are some of the requirements for packaging. 1. Protection and preservation. A basic function of package is to protect and preserve the contents during transit from the manufacturer to the ultimate consumer. It is the protection during transport and distribution from climatic effects such as heat and cold, moisture, vapor, drying atmosphere, etc. It also provides protection from hazardous substances and containments and from infestation. Protection is required against transportation hazards such as spilling, dirt, ingress and egress of moisture, insect, infection, contain contamination by foreign material, tempering, pilferage, etc. Containment. Most products must be contained before they are moved from one place to another. To function successfully, the package must contain the product. This containment function of packaging makes a huge contribution to protecting the environment. A better packaging helps to maintain the quality of product and reach ability of the product in consumers hands without spillages. Third, communication. A major function of packaging is the communication of the product. A package must communicate what it sells. When international trade is involved and different languages are spoken, the use of unambiguous, readily understood symbols on the distribution package are essential. Packaging protects the interests of consumers. Information given on package is with respect to quantity, price, inventory levels, lot numbers, distribution routes, size and best before dates or expiry date. The job of packaging however has evolved.
to become much more important to the marketing process than merely being a rapper. It may include functions such as number one, labeling. This forms the written information on the package which is to be communicated to the consumer for informational or promotional purpose. Two, product transportation. The package is made in accordance with the distance and mode of travel it has to undertake. For example, the commodity required to be shipped a long distance to its distribution point, then bulky or heavy packaging may add too much to transportation costs. 3. Durability. The products have to be in good condition when they reach the final consumer. For example, a consumer will not like if the bag of chips has all the chips crushed. To ensure this, the packaging has to take care of the product during the transit. 4. Creating brand identity and shelf impact. The modern use of packaging is to promote the product and for that innovative packaging is done like in case of ketchups, glass bottles are being replaced by plastic and more convenient bottles. This acts as identification also for the product when competing with other products on the shelf. 5. Pricing of the products. The packaging also helps in justifying the prices of the products or setting up the price of the product as the case may be. A good packaged product can fetch a better price than a poorly packaged one. Moving on, we will identify the importance of packaging. The significance of packaging has been recognized in export as well as in marketing of a wide range of consumer goods and industrial products. Packaging is very important marketing strategy to glamorize the product in order to attract the consumer's attention. Sometimes packaging is so important that it costs more than the product itself in order to lure customers to buy it. Packaging should definitely be included in the four major P's of marketing which are product, place, promotion and price. Most consumers judge a product by its cover or packaging before buying. So, it is logical to say attractive packaging is crucial in order to get the first time buyers to buy the product. It attracts women and children immensely. Some of the major significance of packaging can be detailed. Number one, packaging can make a product more convenient to use or store, easily to identify or promote or to send out a message. Two, it can make the important difference to a marketing strategy by meeting customers needs better. Three, packaging plays a key role in brand promotion and management. Four, packaging is of great importance in the final choice the consumer will make because it directly involves convenience, appeal, information and branding. 5. The paramount concern of packaging is the reachability of the product without any damage. 6. Packaging is especially important in certain industry where future sales may be based largely on the quality, integrity and performance of a company's previous delivery. 7. Packaging is the crucial link between the product and all the forms of promotion. 9. Packaging becomes more important particularly when other promotional avenues are restricted or eliminated by law such as the cigarette packets. 10. Packaging displays are a highly prevalent and effective form of promotion and can be called power walls. 11. 
packaging conveys product characteristics even when the product itself does not 12 packaging and branding are particularly important to young people who constitute the primary source of new customers 13 user perceive their own personality in the brand image and the brand image reflects back on them 14 good packaging design influences at the point of purchase decision making this occurs when a person does not necessarily intend to make a purchase but ends up doing so right let us understand the meaning of the term labeling labeling is an important element of packaging and is anything that is communicated through writing electronically printing or graphically demonstrated on the package the american marketing association defines labeling as the information attached to or on a product for the purpose of naming it and describing its use its dangers its ingredients its manufacturer and the like a label is generally thought of as a printed material but labeling is in the broader sense has made rule to include spoken information and separate promotional pieces if they serve the information purpose and are closely allied to the product labeling is any written electronic or graphic communication on the packaging or on a separate but associated label label provides information about the price quantity and quality etc of the product they compare the product with the same nature of products of other firms on the basis of information provided on the label let us understand some advantages of labeling there are several advantages of labeling which have been discussed as number 1 label becomes helpful to sellers to sell the product effectively 2 labels protect the customer from malpractices of the middleman 3 labeling is very important element affecting sales and distribution process of a product which provides clear information about the grade quantity price brand name features etc to the consumer four labeling identifies the product and help to identify product and brand five labels popularize the product and its brand name six labeling grades the product for example wheat can be expressed with grades such as 1 2 3 4 label becomes useful to grade any product according to its quality 7 label gives introduction of the product describes and expresses its grade information and instructions about who manufactured the product when and where it was manufactured how many ingredients have been used in it how to use the product how to keep the product safe etc are given on the label this becomes helpful to the customer 8 labels help to promote the product customers attention is drawn by attractive and fascinating graphs figures or marks this motivates the customers to buy the product 9 label protects the customers as maximum selling price quantity quality etc are mandatorily mentioned on the label the customers are protected from the possible malpractices of the middleman 10 it results in loss prevention which means tags or electronic article surveillance tags can be activated or detected by devices at exit points and require specialized tools to deactivate 
using packaging in this way is a means of loss prevention. 11. Convenience Packages can have features that add convenience in distribution, handling, stacking, display, sale opening, reclosing, use, dispensing, reuse, recycling and ease of disposal. 10. Portion Control Single serving or single dosage packaging has a precise amount of content to control usage. Bulk commodities such as salt can be divided into packages that are more suitable based on the size of individual household. It also aids the control of inventory. Selling sealed one liter bottle of milk rather than having people bring their own bottles to fill themselves. We will now understand the various objectives of labeling. Number one, physical protection. In order to provide protection to the content packaged inside. Two, barrier protection. A barrier from oxygen, water vapor, dust, etc. is often required. Some packages contain desiccants or oxygen absorbers to help extend shelf life. 3. Containment or agglomeration. Small objects are typically grouped together in one package for reasons of efficiency. For example, a single box of 1000 pencils requires less physical handling than 1000 single pencils. Liquid powders and granule materials need containment. 4. Information transmission. Packages and labels communicate how to use, transport, recycle, dispose or make on the package of the product. Government norms with pharmaceuticals, food, medical and chemical products. Some types of information are mandatory and required by the government. 6. Track and trace purpose. Some packages and labels also are used for track and take purposes. 7. Marketing. The packaging and labels can be used by marketers to encourage potential buyers to purchase the product. Package graphic design and physical design have been important and constantly evolving phenomena for several decades. Let us now know the different types of labels. Labels are of two types, the normal labels and the specialized labels. Let us recapitulate what we have learned so far in this module. Packaging is an important part of product as it makes the first impression of the product on the customer. Packaging is done at various levels ranging from wrapping the core product at the primary level, the secondary level being the cover added to the primary package and the transit level being the one used to facilitate, identify, transport, handle and store the product. Labeling is an integral part of packaging and is anything that is communicated through writing, electronically printing or graphically demonstrated on the package. 